time of year again. Let's go harvest some cotton. Just out the field right here. First gonna put the stripper out of transport mode. One button does it all. Raises the basket and then raises up the baler. Once I got this guy out of transport mode, gonna just steal the cotton. It's a little later already today. I was doing a couple of other things today morning. So we're just gonna try a little bit today, see how it works. There's still a few closed bowls, but for the most part, it's, it's I, think, I think it's ready. That guy right there is latching the baler. Now it's gonna lower the rest of it. Once I actually got it lowered, I actually wanna, I wanna look back there by the wrap. I wanna make sure that's still good. There's still a little bit left over wrap in here from last year. It over, see what it looks like. It's gonna walk back here. Probably not how you're supposed to do this, but I just want to take a look real quick. I want to make sure that all this is still looking good. I did put two more rolls in there, that way I'm full now. I just want to look this over. I think I'm good. I want to make sure the rat's gonna feed in there nicely. It's been sitting for over a year doesn't hurt to check everything over do one quick look over but I think we're good oh yeah they're nice and crunchy I think it's go time gonna drive in here a ways and see what it looks like just drove in a ways so let's see how it looks Yeah, doing a pretty good job. Stripping it pretty clean. I guess there's a little one that got stuck on there, but I don't want to see much tagging. I want to see it doing a nice clean job, with it, which this is actually pretty good. This is not bad. I like it. I think it looks good, so we're gonna keep on rolling. This is not our, uh, I guess you could say, best cotton this year. None of our cotton this year in this area is actually the greatest compared to last year. Cause last year we got a lot more rain. This year was very hot and it'll suffice, it'll suffice. Doing the turn rows first and they're always a pain cause there's tumbleweeds everywhere. No one likes tumbleweeds. They get everywhere and they're always in the way. No one likes them. First fail of the year. bit of a hill here where there's not so good looking cotton so to just ignore ignore this for a second there's that first bale end rows are done so now I'm doing the straight rows I'm gonna do just here up to the pivot we do this little bit here and I'll move the pivot then I'll finish the end rows that were where the pivot is kind of covering it. I'll finish that yet. Yep, out of wrap. There was uh, four wraps left in that roll from last year, so now I'm at zero. So right now I just barely ejected another bale. I want to preferably leave all the cotton bales on that end of the field so it's easier to stack. So I'll just wait till I get to that end and put in a new roller wrap. And very easily I can put a 
So I got a new roller wrap in and we're ready to roll again. I'm gonna call that it for today. I do have somewhere to be for supper. So I guess we'll see y'all tomorrow. And the next day we're back at it. Making plenty of progress, but definitely not as much progress as with two strippers like we had last year. Last year we ran with two machines because we had a lot more cotton. This year we are like, well, we don't want to put extra hours on the second machine when we don't really need to. So we were just taking the one machine out. Might take a couple days. I don't know. Uh, might take four to six days, give or take. After this field, I have one more field behind me that I got to do. And then after that, we have one more larger field but that one might not be ready till, I don't know, maybe the middle or the end of next week sometime. So it'll be a while. It'll be easy going for sure. A little bit here, a little bit there, not working late hours because it's not too much in a hurry. And my cousin has been here like not even an hour and he already has that whole half of that field already stacked. Uh, he's working his way over here. He's catching up faster than I want him to. Look at him, just sitting there, not doing a thing. Terrible, what a shame. He should be stacking bales. Well, this field is done and time to move to that next one. Time to do the end rows again. There's gonna be lots of tumbleweeds here again. There's already one sitting right there. A couple of them just go through the header, but I try to ignore, or not ignore, I try to avoid the biggest ones I find, or majority of them, but I know I saw quite a few of them up ahead over there, so I might have to climb out later and throw a few of them out of the way. And I'm done for the day. Just wrapping my last bale right there. It's pretty handy, you just press this top button right here. I call it the end of the day button. With that, it'll wrap it, it'll eject it, it'll do everything. And there's my bail. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. As for tomorrow, I'm gonna have to try to find some way to clean off this machine. Since the big air compressor that I wanted to use is currently out of commission, it's broken, we don't know what's wrong with it. The mechanic is currently fixing it, so I might have to use the little air compressor that I'm back on my truck. Maybe I'll get my brother to come out here tomorrow morning and use his too, and we can run with two of them because those little air compressors, they don't do not nearly enough. So I'll, I'll still have to find some way to clean off this machine. But, as always, I do appreciate y'all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.